Hey YouTube, this is Noor, and today I'm going to talk about, as you can see that modem right there, that is the Aeris Surfboard SB6190 cable modem. And basically it's one of the first gigabyte cable modems on the market. So what does that mean? That this puppy can do 1.4 gigabytes worth of download speed. So basically this is a beast. So if you are out there and you're getting 75 or you're getting 300 download or you're getting 1.4 gigabyte download, this is the modem to buy. Okay? I hooked it up. It's just like any other surfboard. Really easy to hook up. Really easy to use. Um, if you're with Comcast, you can basically uh, uh, hook it up on your app on your phone or you can call in the Comcast and um, have them get the address off the back of your the MAC address and everything the serial number off the back and install it that way so basically I installed it you know with Comcast it took me about five minutes total but I want to tell you this thing is a beast it's totally better than the surfboard I had. I had the SB6121. Now that was a good one. It was three. It, it was a good modem. It was DOCSIS 3.0 certified, you know, and it did everything it was supposed to do. But sometimes I just got bad streams around my home, you know, as far as the Wi-Fi was concerned, and uh, it just wasn't picking up. You know, some devices weren't picking up good. And when they did pick up, it wasn't streaming video that well, you know. It was, it was a little shaky, but it did the job. Now, with this modem, I instantly see the benefits of having 32 download streaming channels and up to 8 upstream channels. Basically, the more downstream channels you have, the faster, the more better performance you're going to get out of a modem and this modem like I said has 32 download downstream channels so it is a beast and just to show you here I got the modem pulled up and right now for Comcast you know like I said this can do 30 this can do 32 but right now with Comcast I'm getting 24 so that's awesome most places just have like 16 or under 16 channels maybe 8 you know but right now with Comcast, I'm getting 24 bonded lock channels that can make, you know, that can uh, increase my performance as well as my download speed. Now, I only have four channels that are bonded for the upstream, but like I said, that's still awesome for this type of modem here. So as you can see, everything is good with the modem and everything, but I just wanted to show you you know the capability of this modem as far as you know um, how it's set up with Comcast and how Comcast is ready for this 1.4 gigabyte router okay so the problem that I had with Comcast is that they didn't tell anyone that they was upgrading their system so basically what they did was break the majority of their customers cable modem cable modems because they have just upgraded to a whole new system and some modems aren't capable you know of handling it now the modem I had the 6121 they said that that thing when I bought it Comcast said it was certified and it was upgrade proof well I found out it wasn't upgrade proof now this one says the same thing and like I said it's the surfboard uh, the Air Surfboard uh, SB6190. Now this is supposed to be upgrade proof. The price on this was basically $129 because it's on sale right now but with tax it came up to $140. But usually it's about, excuse me, $149. So, uh, you know, it is an expensive modem. Uh, do I suggest this modem? If you have the money, yes, go out and buy it because I told you it totally basically changed the way I view movies around my house. I have everything connected and everything is, you know, um, uh, you know, connected and everything. And when I watch my movies or I stream my movies and things like that from different devices in every part of the house, you know, I wasn't getting a, a really good stream, you know. 
I was getting okay streams and I could view stuff, but sometimes I have to wait. I get a little buffering sometimes. But with this cable modem, I don't get any buffering. Okay, none at all. I mean, it basically, when it has a signal, you know, it's a cool, great stream. Now, when I first installed it, it kept shutting on and off. So I was like, oh my goodness, I got this $140 modem and something was, uh, something's wrong with it. But it wasn't the modem. Again, it was Comcast having an outage in my area. So I was like, wow, uh, that's funny. You know, get a brand new modem and then have an outage in the area. But like I said, this is a great modem. Like I said, it's DOCSIS 3.0 certified. So it basically works with Comcast, Time Warner, Cox, and Charter Spectrum. So basically what DOCS 3.0 is, it's just a cable standard that they all go by so that everything is on the up and up and everything runs the same way. You know, and like I said, this mug is capable of downloading up to 32 times faster you know, than the previous model, the three uh, DOCSIS 2.0, but like I said, it has 32 streams fully that it can take as far as for the downstream to make your downloads faster and to give you a steady stream. So that's what I said, the best thing about this. Now it comes with a one gigahertz capable tuner in it and it has a 1.2 gigahertz megahertz dual processor. Now they put a dual processor and they made it 1.2 the theory is is that that's high enough that it's upgrade proof. You don't even you don't need more than two processors and a 1.2 gigahertz processor in there to for a modem to do its job. So it's saying as long as it's that it's future proof. But like I told you, I've heard that before. So like I said, if you people are having problems with your modem or with your stream and you are a Comcast customer. The chances are Comcast basically bricked <laughs> your modem with their new upgrade and they're not telling anybody. They're waiting for people to call in and I don't understand because when I bought the SB6121, the, one, the modem I had before then, they actually sent me an email and told me, sir, you need to upgrade because we're moving to DOCSIS 3.0. Your modem is not capable. So I went out and bought the 6121. And so that's why it was really amazing to me that Comcast was not telling people that they upgraded their system and that the majority of the customer's cable modems, the people who purchased their own, did not work with their network. So again, if you're having this problem, go out, get you a modem that works with their new standard. If you go on to Comcast's site, they will have a spot there for cable modems and they will tell you directly you know which cable modems are compatible with their system now like I said the reason why I got this one is because when I was reading on their site they said it's upgrade proof and it was pretty much the best modem on there you know it pretty much had all the checks and all the things that it it does. It's got download speeds up to 1.4 gigabytes. It's DOCSIS 3.0. It had downstream channels of 32, upstream of 8. It was a gigabit Ethernet ready. I mean, it was energy efficient Ethernet. So it actually has a button on there that I can actually make the modem more energy efficient than it already is. You know, this modem is great for HD streaming, for internet browsing. And then if you have a large file, I mean this thing, and you have the, the download capacity or the megabytes, if you have a 75 or, or you're in the gigabyte and you have a gig, this thing is a beast because of the 32 channels and, and the ability for 8 upload channels that it is going to download everything at that speed. Okay, there is no question that it will do that. Like I said, I've ran tests, I've checked it out, the only thing... You know, I'm not showing you now because, you know, it's kind of hard to view here in my office. But I just wanted to get out there and tell you about the performance of this thing. This thing is great. Now, I want to talk about gaming in this modem. Now, with my old modem, you know how I have a Microsoft Xbox. And, you know, if you have a Windows PC, you can stream games from your Xbox to your Windows PC. So I had a laptop. And the laptop, I couldn't really play any games really good for my Xbox when it came to streaming. 
okay? Because it would, it would move up and down and you, basically what the Xbox gives you is streaming levels. It say, okay, here is low, here is medium, here is high, and here is very high. Here is the best streaming you can get where you can, you know, get a clear picture and everything. Okay, before I wouldn't get a check mark on that last very, very, uh, very heavy streaming uh, thing there on the Xbox that says you can stream at the highest quality. After I uh, installed this uh, this modem, the, S the SB6190, I was able to get a check when I did when I test the streaming from my laptop anywhere in the house and all the checks. So I could use the very high level to play my game. So then I, you know, checked that box and I was able to play my video games flawlessly on any computer in the house or I was able to walk around my laptop, you know, in the backyard or, you know, up front in the living room. You know, I was able to play my games and they were crisp, it was clear, and it worked. So, like I said, I give this three thumbs up. Uh, this is a great modem. Go out and buy it. Here it is. It is the Air Surfboard Cable Modem 6190. Okay, SB6190. It's one of the first uh, gigabyte modems on the market. Go out and buy this. It is great, especially if you're a Comcast customer and you have those high speeds. Okay, this is Noren. I'm out. Thank you.